Let's talk about four fragrances from the house of Laboratorio Olfactivo and uh, I'll let you know which one is my favorite. Hey guys and welcome to yet another video of Fragrance Jam and today I'll be talking about these fragrances from the house of Laboratorio Olfactivo. Okay, so the first one here will be Vanna Gloria. The second one is uh, Tonke. The third one is Vetti Verso and the fourth one and uh, my favorite from the beginning is Cash Noir. I've already reviewed Cash Noir and you'll be able to see the full video here somewhere. So if you are interested, you can just check that out. I'll show you the presentation of uh, Vetti Verso because this is my favorite box among all the boxes. So the presentation is same, just the color changes. This has this metal plate here. Now this is a bit weird and different because ideally the metal plates are found on bottles, but the box here has the metal plate. It opens up like this, you know, very good. The bottle sits here and it has this card, which has a bit information. And uh, yeah, this is it regarding the presentation. Now let me talk about this fragrance first, which is Vanagloria. Now this fragrance, according to the name and according to Fragrantica, is a vanilla heavy fragrance. I actually hate that note, but uh, you know something about uh, this fragrance actually is good, which makes that note more, I'll say, manly. Now let me tell you first, this is a sweet fragrance, this falls in a gourmand category. So if you are into that kind of perfumes, you can, you, you'll definitely love it. This is what I can suggest. This opens up very sweet. It is like a sweet and spicy kind of vanilla. The spicy notes are very less. I know it's weird uh, to imagine something which is sweet and spicy, but uh, this is what I can detect here. You can imagine a sweet milkshake. Uh, this is what this perfume will give you. The vibes of a milkshake. Uh, it is good and uh, Longevity wise this lasts for like uh, a good four to five hours. The performance of this perfume was not that good as compared to the other ones but uh, if you are reapplying it I'm pretty sure you can uh, you know pull it off. The next one we'll be discussing is Tonke. Now this is again as per the name a Tonka bean heavy perfume. So one thing that actually is very good about this house is the quality of the perfumes you know the perfumes the juice is very heavy and uh, you know dense that kind of quality the prominent thing that i get here again um, i'm not sure if vanilla is in the notes but i do get vanilla again if you have a sweet tooth then you love this fragrance i actually don't uh, like that dna so that is the reason i don't prefer this dna that much but this is for the people who are more into you know tonka bean and sweet fragrances the next one is my favorite one the second favorite one i'll say this is vetiver so and uh, this is their take on vetiver now if you see in the market right now almost all the fragrances are mimicking each other so let's say if you buy roja whatever if you buy gray whatever if you buy sultan whatever all these fragrances will have almost similar dna so you know there is nothing different or unique about them sultan whatever again is a bit different but again the dry down will be almost the same but uh, the whatever here is top notch the quality is good this can be termed as a spicy vetiver fragrance uh, not sweet or something like that this is like a dry spicy vetiver this is what uh, i can detect in this fragrance and uh, you know just just look at the juice color here this is what the fragrance has in it you know the green dry powdery and peppery spicy whatever the longevity of this fragrance is very good it lasted for like seven hours on my skin and uh, uh, it is whatever so basically it should be good for summers but uh, it performs better in winter or let's say uh, air conditioned environment so longevity wise and everything this is good so if you're bored from all that similar kind of whatever dna you should definitely try this one the last one and my favorite from this house is cash noir i love this dna as i have discussed 
in uh, my full review this is a bit similar to Gela Shalimar and uh, I still prefer this one every time this fragrance is dark dense heavy and mature uh, people who are into designer stars people who are new to fragrance will not be able to understand this fragrance and this lasts forever this is a piece more fragrance this gave me more than 10 hours when I applied like six to seven sprays. I went out, I came and this was still there. So wrecking all the perfumes in terms of uh, uh, performance projection and uh, let's say uniqueness, I'll say Cash Noir will be my first pick if I am picking something from this house. The second pick will be Very Verso because again this is a very versatile kind of stuff and uh, completely different from all the vetivers available in the market the third one will be Vanna Gloria because uh, again this is a different take on vanilla uh, if you are into sweet vanilla fragrances then I'm sure you're gonna love it the fourth one and I'll say my least favorite will be this one Tonkade the only reason this is my least favorite is because I'm not that uh, uh, much into sweet fragrances if you are into something which is gourmandish or sweet this is for you so this is it regarding the house of laboratory olfativo these fragrances in india are currently available at the best price with mr ankit bansal i will mention all the details links whatsapp instagram whatsoever in uh, the description so if you are interested just uh, contact him and uh, you'll be able to get these fragrances at the best price we'll see you guys in the next episode take care and have a great day